an inch big, you know, but I've got to come out, get out. Oh, there we go. Good morning, everybody. Yes, we are back at the allotment today and we're going to do a polytunnel hoop house inspection. Just turn you around there. That's what we're inspecting today, all the ways in there. You see how the deers, we're going to get deers have the run of the, the garden as well. And if you notice, it's a gorgeous deer. And being on night shift, so I haven't opened the polytunnel yet. It was cold the first time. So it'll be warm in there, I'm expecting. But we'll go in because there's a couple of things that I want to do. There's a couple of things I'm disappointed by. There's a couple of things I'm quite excited by and relieved, should I say. So come on, we'll go straight in and we'll have a little look. Get the usual hook on the door. So, <laughs> a wall of heat hits you. And looking good, I'll try and keep an eye out to make sure that the lens is not steaming up. So, Yes, on first inspection, I'm, I'm really, everything's working great. Everything's going good. There's little things that are niggling us, and I'll get to them. But on first inspection, if you remember, I actually did cut the, the bottom leaves off all the trusses of the tomatoes. And that coupled with, most times I'll leave the store open and a little bit on there because it's not one of those ones that I've got I know Steve Green side up has built one where you can actually lift the sides up so that's just as much a, like a, a niggle for garden as it's like too much heat you know these can through the day you know generate a tremendous amount and then on night times they dip but hopefully now this is the time where we're golden you know so that this bed here we'll start with this bed here if you remember i cheated and i just bought from the the garden center six for ten pound of the basil mind I'm, I'm happy with it it's took it looks lovely it's a way i thought it might have you know got green fly on or anything like that but no i'm i'm really happy with that so a couple of weeks time and we'll start start picking a few leaves then taking them down for a salad so all these tomatoes are looking good now what i've noticed the, well these are my brad's atomic and I've, i mentioned it i've grew them this is the second year of growing them and they don't look and i'll be honest they don't look the the bonniest you know like the the, the ugly sister of tomato plants you know they just don't look like a, a healthy or a, a vibrant plant you know the it seems you know in the plant in the tomato world it's like a struggle for them to get up in the mornings that's the way i kind of think of it but you know the fruit i was getting from them was just out of this world you know it really was delicious so i'm hoping i can just repeat that process and get some more do you know what i did notice is and i think it's well i'm not 100 percent sure but and i'll just show you there we'll get some nice crops down there starting to come you know and they start off black the brad's atomic and then they go if you've got the sunshine they go to this lovely multi-colored but i'm getting this year like a strain coming through where they're starting off green and come you know so i think maybe they're from a different you know like a european brad's atomic i'm not 100 percent sure but I know there's other folks of, of getting that and maybe that's the way it goes. I just expected it all to be black, but I'm getting some that are starting off green. And I'm hoping that, you know, they go and get through and become the... Because it's not, they're not like a... a sh they've got a bite to them and that's what I, that's what I kind of like, you know. So we'll just sneak through if we can. Because I've got little things at the back. Now, what I want on, it help is... That is a melon. Now, I'm not sure what type of melon it is. And I'm guessing you have to stop the suckers going and just have one plant. Let us know in the comments if I need to do anything with that. Because I've just been watering it and it looks pretty good. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm quite happy with it. It's the biggest thing I've grown is a melon plant. You know, I'm, I've never grown them before. So 
any help on that let us know it seems like a jumbled mess so i need even like a link to a, to a video would be would be ideal now my peppers these are me oh the hungarian hot wax they're starting to flower and they're starting to look way better than what they did you know what i mean there's only a couple of them three down there and they certainly have picked up. I, th I didn't think at all they would get picked up. You know, they were really knocked with the cold. The first night, it was the first night I brought them up, they got knocked. And it, it was a shame because they might have been about two foot high, you know, now. But it's one of those things. Now, I did for a trial, as you know, if anyone, the regular viewers watching this was just this tomato plant the brad's atomic is just a cutting from one of those plants you know like one of the side suckers and you can see i think i see there we go the fruit on already now i might not get as many fruit i think steve mentioned you not get as many fruit but at least you'll get some so if you're ever in that position where you want some more of a variety just take the sucker off plant it up and you'll be golden hopefully now ian from grown local sent us a few different veg and one of the if you remember and i've still got the tray there i'll just show you there this little tray came with the with six varieties of like vegetables in and one of them was a cucumber and that's the state of play there with it it's looking grand you know i'm really pleased with that there was if you remember a tomato plant in no it was in one of my cucumbers in there and i just it wasn't going good so i sacrificed it and put <laughs> put a professional growers cucumber in and it won't be long before we get in cucumbers off that now speaking of cucumbers this is is it a beth alpha i'm not sure how you pronounce it but it was sent over by stan who's a, a local allotment grower i've had about three up to now cucumbers from this plant and the intention is to just to trail it right along this you know and this is using that duo pod grow thing where it's, it's watering from greenhouse sensations you've got water and feed in there and it's a, it's a, like an auto you know a basic automatic watering system now i do i'll be honest when i'm watering and i see them with these when i'm watering, i just give them a like a, a feed you know or a water from the top as well now i've got this was because i had such a disaster with the the chilies and everything like that this is a grafted one which i paid five pound for from b and q and it start you know that's what i wanted the hungarian hot wax that's coming up to probably th three foot tall there now lots of flowers going on the same with this this is not a, a pep like it's a hot one it's a sweet pepper but and it's not grafted but i think yeah you can see there's little peppers are starting to come there you know so hopefully those two and it's probably time to to top them up as well that they the water reservoirs now on the back if i can just get up i'll just stand on this was one of my biggest disasters turned into one of my biggest miracles to be honest this is one of the carolina reapers and if anyone remembers these two duo pods was had four reapers in and i lost everything with the, the coal snapper but this is the one thing that i left and it came through and it survived and it mind all of them survived that they look dead you know because i've got them down there and i just left them and they just kind of came away i'm not bothered you know i'm just leaving them two there there so if they do if your peppers do get knocked you know and trust us they looked dead as dead as doorneels i just left them the leaves fell off it was just this moldy brown stump but well, you know you can see all the not that i'll be eating these <laughs> but it was just a a quirky thing i wanted to grow and share we we, we all had some reaper i'm hoping everyone will let us know how their carolina reapers are doing so i'm really pleased with that you know i couldn't ask for anything more it's it's a healthy looking plant for me there in the northeast of england so getting down off the stool you know i mean the, these are just 
what I'm growing and what I'm like right, planting on there now. I'm I'm a little bit, and maybe it's just like a stressed environment. But a couple of these seeds are going to run into seed. This is my salad where I've cut and come again. This is the next one which I used a different compost and it's been a bit sporadic and it hasn't been good. But I'll be able to cut that off and hopefully it'll all come again. Some more spring onions and some of the the beans there which haven't again that's my compost and it hasn't been compared to the clover compost it hasn't been it's been p pathetic to be honest <laughs> it really has so we're moving on to this side now this is the side where i've got a little bit of controversial and i'm going to do something that i'm not happy about doing it but i think there's no point in not doing it if that's if that's one for a better description but we'll go through the tomatoes first again we'll, I thought we'll start off with the, the peppers all the peppers are looking good you know I'm really pleased they all got knocked and hopefully I'll get something from them you know I just I was so tempted just to dump them get them away you know and these were grafted ones that I bought in you know so but as you can see you know flowers are happening fruits starting to happen there so I'm feeding and I'm watering I'm not watering too much not as much as the, the tomatoes but I'm certainly getting them you know mothering them to try and get them away and come and this is the one that I'm hoping this is like the black Hungarian we get some proper peppers on that because this is the one where I wanted to get through I planted it sowed it in November you know it was one of those like a a challenge to myself to to grow it those four tomatoes then are the sun sugar ones and these are a little bit like the you know the the the, the kind of well, i forget what they're called sun gold tomato ones where apparently where the i noticed it on the the, the other ones that split all the time now these aren't supposed to supposed to be just as sweet but we'll wait and see. I mean, the tomatoes are there, they're coming. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what these are like compared to the the, the ones that the sun gold that. Because them sun gold, are, they're almost like a, like a little sweet, a little candy, you know, and you, it's hard to get them home because you eat them all. But if you get them home, they were split and I found a lot. So someone mentioned, I think it was Audrey in America, mentioned that these don't split and they're the same, nearly the same you know style so hopefully we'll get something off that there's another little plant that <laughs> from ian's grown look there was a pea there you know so we've got it in and i think the roots are actually going through because it's looking healthy and i'm sure i'm going to get a couple of peas off them soon these four are my yellow pear now i mentioned the reason why i'm quite keen on these ones was because i was watching i think it was line of duty and hastings the, the police officer in line of duty the the man himself went on a tour of ireland and he visited a cook a cooking school restaurant that that had these yellow pears in and again audrey sent these over from america so and they're bright yellow pear shaped so i'm really hoping I mean everything looking all right at the moment you know we'll see they don't look like a sporadic plant with lots of fruit but I'm hoping you know just to get a few basketfuls would be great and then that's me you know I'm, I'm happy I've, I've been there done that so I'm onto the grafted now these are my grafted plants by Johnny now Johnny Johnny's kitchen garden he's at a way more advanced level stage than what i am and he's actually doing his own grafting of tomatoes and mind they're coming on you know we've got six different varieties and you can see down there i've got some fruit down there right at the back through there i've got some more fruit coming all different varieties i can't pronounce the varieties there's a nice one there and it looks like that's some sort of italian tomato shape maybe come in there there's one at the back and we've got a, a red pepper here now it's this red pepper that is it's not it's not working and now I'll, I'll be interested to know off Johnny what's happening but I think there's not one 
there's not one tomato on it you know and i can't see it producing any tomatoes because it's just it just ends in a leaf and there's nothing to say this tomato is coming so and even on you know like side shoots you think and i've been taking like even thicker side shoots out you know like there's nothing comes from these like suckers there's no tomatoes nothing it's just a a plant that's not bearing fruit so i'm gonna take that out today i'm gonna get rid of it because that little bit of land is good real estate you know i'm now starting to like plan and think ahead for a little bit later so and you know to, to go into the the winter and everything like that if that's just a green plant it needs to come up so let us get that done this very minute now i'd love if you don't mind to tell us what i can put in there do i plant some more carrots in there do i plant some spinach i've got some spinach going at the moment but it's just a, a green you know there's nothing coming and i'm all for a one for giving it a best shot but it's nothing happening at all with this plant and it was it did get when it, it traveled up you know it did get its little head knocked when it first came up but there's nothing there you know it's quite quite unusual not to have a a single flower and nothing indicating that there's a flower coming you know the, the tomato should be at least an inch big you know but gotta come out get out oh there we go look at that i mean the rootstock is all there you know there's no kidding the, the rootstock johnny's put on is a huge one it's worked a treat but for some reason it hasn't worked in in developing fruit which is such a shame right get this into the bucket so like i mentioned we've got that now that's a space to fill now let us know what i can put in here nice square you know three foot by three foot square there what can i put in that would be interesting though let us know in the comments below and finally we have another little mishap with you know caused by human intervention these are my grafted aubergines i had them last year black pearl they grow amazing you get loads of fruit i have been plagued with a number of green fly on them but there's a lot of ladybirds around so i'm just letting that localized war continue that's the the one i actually cut and i pruned it and if you notice there chopped it off myself so i'm hoping this is the main plant i'm going to leave this one i'm not going to be ruthless on that one i'm going to leave it because it looks like there's actually you know there's fruit there where with a red pepper tomato there wasn't anything and i was just keeping green you can see there just down there is some fruit so that'll become the you know the main one hopefully right i'll just see what daisy what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> yes so allotment guard dog so overall I'm, I'm really quite happy and then following on as you know i've got the carrots in buckets in compost and those are my broccoli like sprouting broccoli which is the claret f1 types and i'll give everything another good water today i like to say i'm also feeding as well feeding it's almost like every other day just like a light feed now just to try and you know get as much as i can from them so that is the polytunnel inspection overall i'm i'm chuffed a bit everything seems to be going all right you know it's we've got fruit so things like that have worked so i can i can see fruit that's that's great you know what i mean it's it's working look after yourselves take good care